So this time we are going to talk about the unit 1 study guide. Basically the study guide videos and study guide sessions will help you to understand how exactly you can proceed with individual units for your better enhancement of those topics. That will include the tips to prepare a particular unit, that will include the most important topic list and also secret topics which are important in this upcoming CSI net exam for your preparation. By studying last 5 years of question papers, we have developed this study guide. So take it seriously because this study guide is going to help you immensely to understand what to read and what to left for each and every single topic and each and every single units. So let's start with the very first unit that is biochemistry. Unit 1 in CSI net is biochemistry and let me take a color for all of you and let's start to talk about the study guide for unit 1. The very first question that I say in a study guide, how many questions you can expect from unit 1 and for part B you expect 5 questions, for part C you can expect near about 6-7 questions in CSI net exam from unit 1. The second thing is uh, uh, what are the topic distribution between part B and C questions. Part B is approximately 40 percent and part C questions from unit 1 consist of approximately 60 percent of the questions. So, you will expect more of a part C question, more of an analytical question in uh, unit 1 biochemistry than memory based questions. Now, these are the topic list, uh, these are the topic that we, we will discuss in the class and uh, these are the topics that are really important. Apart from that, there are also some extra to topics that I will add at the end of this uh, video. But here, these are the topics that you must prepare, must read. Enzyme catalysis and inhibition, 1 to 2 question from that. Carbohydrate metabolic biochemistry, carbohydrate biochemistry means it is simply structure, monosaccharide, disaccharide, polysaccharide, one question, protein biochemistry, structural, particularly structure and titration of amino acid, that is two questions, hemoglobin and myoglobin, one to two questions, glycolysis, TCA cycle, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, uh, electron transport chain, which is all a part of uh, gluconeogenesis, pentose phosphate pathway, glycogen, uh, glycogen metabolism, this is all part of carbohydrate metabolism and this is the most important part here carbohydrate metabolism and you can expect 3 to 4 questions from that in part C particularly we are talking about part C here not about the part B because our concern here is to prepare part C very well because part C consists of 50 percent of the total marks of CSI net life science exam. So now it is time to say what to do in order to prepare biochemistry very well and what I can say is that invest most of the time understanding carbohydrate metabolism because carbohydrate metabolism will consist of most of the question, most questions will be from that part. So if someone asks me that what should I prepare in biochemistry is huge, uh, tell me something that I can prepare in low, uh, in, in less number, less amount of time, I can say only go for carbohydrate structural chemistry, protein structural chemistry and carbohydrate uh, metabolism that will be the, the important prepare metabolic regulations and enzyme names very carefully. So, while you are preparing metabolic regulations, you need to understand the process of regulation in details. Do not try to mug up, but try to understand the process. If you understand the process, it will stay with you for a long time. But if you mug it up, if you just remember that, you will forget. And also remember enzyme names in different stages. You do not need to look at the structures and all, but names of the enzymes, particularly enzymes of glycolysis, TCA cycle, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and electron transport chain are really, really important. Prepare protein structural biology part very well and structural biology of protein means the different uh, kinds of structure, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure, particularly the secondary structure of proteins that is alpha helix and beta sheet and uh, the different kinds of helix, alpha, 310 and all the different varieties of helix, how they differ and what makes them uh, alpha helix or beta sheet, Ramachandran plot very, very important. Enzyme turnover number and catalytic efficiency problems are the key problems that CSIR ask all the time. So, when you are reading enzyme, do not just beat in the bush about the enzyme's properties and all, it is not that important. The important is that how exactly 
A protein can be isolated from a cell membrane which is a part of cell biology question. But apart from that, the enzyme catalytic efficiency and turnover number, KCAT and turnover number is very important. And also the types of enzyme inhibition is very, very important. That includes the competitive, non-competitive, uncompetitive, mixed inhibitions and their details, their difference is very important. And the graphical representation, to understand the graphical representation is very important. 60% of the questions asked in this biochemistry chapter, unit 1, are analytical in nature. And among those 60% also 30 to 40% of the question are mathematical in nature. So, you may ask a question like, why then we read the theory? If you don't know the theory, you cannot answer the mathematical question in biochemistry. So, obviously, you need to understand theory very well before understanding the math problems. And practice analytical and biochemistry mathematical problem once the theory is over only. Do not just start with the mathematical problem. If you are good with biochemistry, you know that you are good with biochemistry and you have a good preparation earlier, then you can continue with the math analytical problem from the beginning. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so this is what you should do. Uh, what you should not do in uh, this particular unit in unit 1 or biochemistry unit, let me also tell you that idea, what you should not do in biochemistry. In biochemistry, you should never ever mug it up because you know there are in biochemistry, there will be portions that you should remember recall. The best way to recall them is that for example, enzyme, name of the enzymes and different stages, you write down those in a table format. In the table, you write down the name of the, the stages and the name of the enzyme involved with it. And also try to understand what drives the enzymatic reaction which components will help the enzymatic reaction to go forward, which components will inhibit, which intermediates will inhibit the enzymatic reaction. This is really, really important. Once you know that, just write it down and just look at that table and try to imagine the stages and process that will help you immensely, that will help you in a, in a better way to prepare for this unit that you should do. You should never ever just go into the math problems and try to solve that because you will see Del G problems, you will see Gibbs free energy, you will see half life problems and many more problems will be there. For this coaching of Shromo's biology CSI net examination, we have this separate dedicated class to talk about these problems, biology math problems. So, we will discuss those problems there and we will talk about the attached theory there only. But understand the biochemistry as a whole and you should never skip biochemistry because if you skip biochemistry, you can never understand many other units. You cannot understand cell biology, molecular biology and many portions of it. So, biochemistry, cell biology and molecular biology, these three units, unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3 are the building blocks of this uh, syllabus of CSINET, building blocks of life sciences. So, you should never ever skip them. Okay? So, keep this in your mind and at the end, I will also show you the important topic list, the secret topic list. Uh, for this year's uh, NET examination which you can prepare. If you want to prepare suggestively, you can just read those topics and that will build your concept, that will prepare your subject. Almost 80% of the question you can attain from those topics. So, that is it for unit 1 study guide or biochemistry study guide for CSI NET examination. So, now I will say what not to do for studying unit 1. Okay. So, what not to do? Let me uh, tell you that. Do not take too much time reading from different books. You know, in biochemistry pathways are represented different way, differently in different books. So, you should not invest more time reading different books for uh, different biochemical pathways. You stick to one book that is Leninger or White and White, it will be fine. Do not stick to the theoretical knowledge only. You need to have a good analytical knowledge and so that you can apply that knowledge while solving math problems. That is really important. You can skip a protein, lipid and nucleic acid metabolism part, but should not skip carbohydrate metabolism because most of the questions will be from carbohydrate metabolism. I know many people who can only, who only prepared carbohydrate metabolism with protein structural biochemistry and they scored well in unit 1. Do not start practicing mathematical problem from day 1 if you are new to it, if you are new to the topic. If you already have prepared it, then you can go at it. Otherwise, practice it only the theory is over. And these are the list of topics, these are the list of topics, sorry. These are the list of topics, most important topics for unit 1. I will attach it at the end of the video, but you can clearly see that uh, the list of topics means uh, these topics are more important and the bold one uh, repeated twice in last 5 years and the red one is repeated more than thrice in last 
five years. So, 82 topics and subtopic names are mentioned in here. If you can prepare suggestively, if you want to prepare suggestively, this is the topic that you should go with and it will not let you down. Okay? So, I will attach it at the end. So, that is all about unit 1 study guide for CSI net exam.